I'm scared. When I say I asked you guys an hour ago to send me your worst confessions, why is there over 500 responses? It's literally going up by the second. Literally two seconds ago, it had 503 and that's 510. You guys are damn bad. Well, I thought it'd be a smart idea to stay a bit more interesting because I've been stuck at home all day and read your worst confessions. Um, I'm scared. We've got our tier ranking system right here. So we have, am I reading my own confession? I get you guys. It's something I did too. I understand you completely. I feel you, maybe not so much, but I can, you know, there's some acceptance to it, you know, um, I'll let you off. Questionable, mm, you know, you're sort of pushing it now, but it's up for question. So maybe it can be accepted somewhere else. I'm scared, self-explanatory. Um, you scare me. I'm sure some of these are gonna scare me. I had a glimpse at some of them and I was like, what is this? Jail time, that's it, get out. Okay, I'm wasting no time with this and getting straight into it because why is it still going up? 513, guys, stop it. Okay, I'm just gonna randomly generate these. So um, hopefully I'm not scarred for life. 228, 228, it's time for you to come out of your shell, honey bun. I sleep in my brother's bed sometimes. Um, I need more context. <laughs> How old is your brother? Is your brother there with you? Oh, um, I'm gonna go with questionable. Questionable, because there's not enough context here. Because if my sister's not home and if we've got guests over, sometimes I might have to sleep in her bed, but she's not there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so it, we're not gonna, Let, let's just leave it that. Oh, this one's quite long, okay. Oh, and they put their name. Okay, I'm gonna have to blank that out. I promise this was anonymous. <laughs> One time I was letting my cat outside, then I trapped her in the door when my mum asked, what was you doing? I said nothing and I just fell over, but after that I was scared of my cat for like a week straight and then when I saw her, ran off. Who, what, where? Um, I think we've got another, another questionable here. I'm not really sure what's going on, um, but I hope your cat's okay. Oh my gosh, why are the responses still going up, you guys, and your confessions? Okay, we're gonna move on to our lovely 184. Okay, maybe not. They said my worst confession is saying my worst confession. And that's it. Um, I would love to hear it someday, if you ever come back. Okay, this one's long and I see something to do with teachers. One time when I was in primary school, I had a massive crush on my year five teacher. <laughs> I shouldn't laugh. I do not know why, but she was Disney obsessed and my little mind could not slow down. I remember feeling so sad as the year went by. On the last day, I brought her some flowers and gave her my phone number. She never messaged me and I was heartbroken to say the least. It always floats in the back of my mind, what if she had messaged me? My question is, why have you got crushes on teachers in year five? I mean, I think maybe it was for the best that she didn't message you back. She might have lost her job. Um, I'm gonna say I'm slightly scared, slightly scared here, but you know, it's okay. We all have our crushes sometimes. But if I give you some advice, I would maybe steer clear of teachers. Just imagine if the teacher, because the teacher might have thought that maybe it was just like, you admired them as a teacher, but crush, mm, okay. And you guys still keep sending confessions. Why is the number going up as I film? Next up, we have the lovely 194. Um, please don't scare me too much. Okay. Someone said, this is, this is a confession, but it's not about me. Interesting. So it all started when I was in nursery. I met this girl I will call B. We were best friends. Then in year three, I started going around to her house three to four times a week. And every time I would do so, B would try to make out with me. In year three? And this went on for a year. Okay, I'm not gonna say this bit here because this bit is a little bit, I'm scared. But whatever you're thinking is probably worse. She then moved schools and came out as a lesbian. It was only then I realized how bad it actually was. I, I have not spoken to her ever since and that was four to five years ago. And I have only told my other friend that I was also best friends with at the time while this went on. I hope you're okay. This is a lot to unpack. 
my question is why is she trying to make out in year three year three um year three i was playing with barbies but okay um this is not for you for your friend jail time because what i hope you're okay that's that's awful especially the part which i will blur out because that's a bit well i hope you're okay anyways let's move on from that why are they only picking ones in the 100s this one's 115 okay we're gonna move on to 358 let's see if this one's a scary <laughs> Me and my friend were trying to crush up sweets as it, and it wasn't working. So I said to use a glass and it shattered all over my kitchen floor. But luckily my mum still doesn't know. You know what? I feel you. I feel you. Sometimes anything for that, for that little snack, you have to go the extra mile. So I respect. Right, moving on to 212. Okay, this one isn't that long. So, so although sometimes I say that, but the long ones are also just as terrifying. I split my mum's resin on her carpet and before she got home, I had to scrub the carpet as much as I could. She never knew, but till this day, the patch is still there and my mum thinks the cat peed on the carpet. You're evil. The poor cat gets the blame. But you know what? There were some things that I have done when I was a kid that I also tried to blame on my pet dog. But, no, so you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna say I feel you. I'm gonna say I feel you. Because sometimes, even though it's not good, we blame it on the pet without a voice. So, but I would definitely keep that one a secret. It's been a long time. Okay, moving on to 498. Let's see. I went on a trip with school and I went on the big swing and I went on with a teacher and I was screaming and I peed my pants a lot. I went in a lake on a kayak and I fell in 10 times. This is one school trip. I mean, maybe go pee first before going on a big swing. You know what? Again, there's a bit to unpack here. I fell 10 times in the lake on a kayak. You know, kayaking's hard, so I'll let you off there. But you peed your pants a lot, not even a little bit. If I could give you an advice, it would be when you need to wee, go wee, girl. But it's not really questionable because it happens. It's a humanly thing. So I'm gonna put you in I feel you. Maybe I I can't relate for the, the peeing, but it's okay, you know, we've all been there. Right, next we're moving on to the lovely 412. Oh my gosh, why is there more responses coming in the minute? Ah, I didn't realize there'll be this many people confessing to things. I think we're gonna need to do a part two after this. What is with you guys peeing? <laughs> I sometimes pee in my bed, that's it. You know, again, what's the age here? Because what age though can you allow pee in the bed? I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna put you in questionable. Um, because I, I don't know what age we do, we're dealing with here, but I'm hoping, you mean, you're, mm -hmm. I was gonna say hopefully under the age of five. Yeah, but I, I don't know, what's, what's the, Cut off limit for peeing the bed. We're gonna leave it unquestionable um, because there's some information that we don't know. Maybe that was for the best. That poor person, imagine if they're like 17. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Moving on to the lovely 361. I loved eating the cheap little fun flavored chapsticks when I was a kid. I mean, I liked the taste of them. Like I would lick my lips, but I wouldn't eat it. But I don't wanna leave you feeling alone. Although I didn't eat it. I'm gonna put you in I feel you. Just because I didn't eat it. I'm sorry. I might have licked my lips, but it's not it's not entirely questionable. Okay, we've got a smaller number this time. We're going down to 51. What? I sent someone noodles. I mean, I love noodles. But it's a bit of a strange gift. I'm gonna go with questionable. We're gonna go with questionable. Um, don't get me wrong, I love myself some noodles, but as a gift, but it's okay, it's okay. I feel like my lipstick's coming off. Okay, swiftly moving on to 424. Have we done 424? Okay, we definitely haven't. Why 
Once I was bike riding when I was little and I got hit by a car face first to the ground. Never told my parents. I think I'm gonna need to add a tear for next time as are you okay? A, a car? I even just fell over by a car. Face first to the ground. And you never told your parents? Why? Oh my gosh. Definitely tell your parents. Um, I'm gonna, I don't I have, if I had a tear for saying I'm here for you, I would, or are you okay? But I don't, so I'm gonna put you in I feel you because that must have hurt. Imagine just casually one day riding your bike and then a car just, and did, did you not have like, I feel like we need more here. Was there not any cuts or anything? How did your parents not even realize? Did you tell them a lie? This is an interesting one. Okay, now we're moving on to number 529 because the responses do not stop. One time I was in fifth grade, I had diarrhea problems and during my presentation on about the human body, I had to go, but I could I could not find my class and go to leave to the bathroom. So I pooed my pants and it was really loud and everyone started to laugh at me and I ran out crying. The teacher felt so bad that she gave me 100%. I was too scared to go back to class and my mom homeschooled me. So I'm now homeschooled and I never want to go back to school. Are you okay? I mean, you know what? It's a humanly bodily function. Sometimes everyone gets problems down there. I mean, at least the teacher gave you 100%. That's one good thing to take from this. Um, but you know, some advice, seeing as you don't feel like going back to school, maybe if you was to try a new school in the future, it might help. But you know what? Embarrassing moments happen to the best of us. So I'm gonna put you in, I feel you. You're not alone here. I'm surprised we haven't got, am I reading my own confessions yet? I really wanna get one of those because then I can <laughs> expose myself. Moving on to 441. <laughs> One time I played spin the bottle, I got picked on this person I didn't know. Next day, my mom introduced my stepdad and his son. It was him. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, I played spin the bottle. I got picked on this person I don't know. Next day, my mom introduced my stepdad and his son. It was him. Was it the stepdad or was it the son? Please be the son. Um, I mean, I hope you didn't like him because that would be awkward. Oh, imagine that. Imagine though, like, imagine you had a crush on someone and it turns out it's your stepdad's son. You poor thing. Um, I'm going to put it in, I'm scared. Imagine how scary that would be. Like what on earth? Okay. 146, let's hope you're more lucky. I had went to KFC and at first I said I wanted chicken. They said, okay. And then... They said, I have a question, breast or thighs? I said, personality. Then they said, sir, I'm talking about the chicken. Oh, you thought they were talking about real breasts and thighs? I mean, by the looks of it, you was here by yourself. So that's helpful. <laughs> um, you know, I feel you. Sometimes we get mixed up in things. Um, but I don't know why, why you thought they'd be talking about real breasts and thighs. But you know, it's okay, it's okay. Maybe I'm being too good nice. Should we put you in questionable? I don't know. Okay, 226. Oh, I think this is quite, oh, actually no, it's not that long. When I was younger, I had a crush on this cartoon character. Every time he appeared on my TV, I started to get so excited. One day I decided to steal my mum's lipstick and put it on. I went up to my TV and when he appeared on the screen, I kissed the TV. And then in brackets, y'all can make fun of me. I know it's weird. I mean, we've all had our crushes on cartoon characters when we're younger, but the lipstick part, so it's one step too far. So I'm gonna put you in, I feel you. We've had our crushes, you know, but to actually the whole lipstick area, it's a bit. Okay, next we're going in with 530 because like I said, you guys do not stop. They're literally coming in by the minute. Okay, so I may or may not have caused my dog back problems. Okay. Last year of 2020 from picking him up so much, plus Barbie's dog, my grandma. Today, I may or may not have seen her and kind of closed the door and hit her head, but she's fine. Wait, what? So you think you caused your dog back problems from picking her up so much and you closed the door and hit her head? Um, is the dog okay? I mean, I'm going to go with I'm scared because by the looks of it, it sounds like it was an accident. So I don't think jail time is necessary. But yeah, 
I think I think that's that one. I hope the dog's okay. Okay, we're gonna go on to the last one. <laughs> Women. <laughs> I liked my cousin, who I didn't know was my cousin, but I still like him. <laughs> still like him? So you liked some person, found out it was your cousin, but you still like them? It's got to be Jao. I'm sorry. But how did you not know that there was your cousin? Was it like a second or a third cousin? Uh, interesting. But I'm going to have to say Jao. Just because you know that they're your cousin now. I mean, I know feelings don't just go away like that. But girl, come on now. But you have to let him go. And that's that. That was interesting. Um, I didn't know my followers were so scary. If you notice your confession, then you're safe. No one's going to know who you are. But overall... I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm definitely doing a part two because why the response is still coming through. But you know, it's been a whole day of you guys confessing and um, exposing yourself. So I'm going to expose myself. I've got my pajama bottoms on. When I'm filming, I just get the top part of myself ready. So now you're not alone. <laughs> oh no, that's not as bad as yours. But I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. And be sure to keep confessing because I'll be doing a part two. But what to learn from this video? I don't know. Stay safe. See ya.